what's up welcome back to my channel my name is Tosh I think I'm pretty posh and oh my gosh I'm so excited that you're here today if you're new don't forget to click that button down below subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the joy that I have to bring to you this year and if you're a returning subscriber you should already know that I would die for you I would take a bullet if you need me to okay so here's the tea the sitch, the 411. I went to do an apartment tour yesterday, but I am like so unorganized sometimes. I could not find my passport because I threw my ID away in a McDonald's bag, but I literally could not find my passport. So I was like, you know what? You know, they've let me tour without showing my ID before. So I'll just try it. They did not let me and I did not have time today to go and tour before work at the yoga studio. So I was like, okay, what can I do? Because I do wanna get something up and I know that it's kind of late, but I literally like I'm barely getting home from work. I thought it would be fun to read some people's experiences or like horror stories on Reddit from like renting. I am not the best at reading, so forgive me, but I really hope that you guys like this video because I did wanna get something up for you guys instead of just continuously lagging like the bitch that I have been. So I have my laptop here, currently in the middle of this rental slash foreclosure shit storm. This was 11 years ago, by the way, cause I'm not, I don't know we'll just continue rented a large home with several friends in North Hollywood moved in several months after the rent had been negotiated my roommates were new to LA and were taken for a ride on the lease I didn't care because at the time we had six people in a three-bedroom home and I paid about $250 several roommates <laughs> moved out and rent jumped to 700 got my own room though lease ran out and we moved Moved on to a month-to-month -month thing until the foreclosure notice showed up. I should mention the house is falling down. Both front and back lawns are dead, has several DIY refurbishments, including a closed off garage and extra bathroom, strange smell from under the house, and no air conditioning. All these refurbishments are per poorly done and illegal. Oh my gosh. The man in charge of managing the property had been rent skimming and was withholding money from the homeowner. Because of this, oh my god, that's terrible. The house went up into foreclosure and went to auction. The homeowners ended up asking us for our last month's rent. Little did we know that they did not own the home at that point. Against my wishes, my roommate paid. Then without confirming ownership, they split anyways. No one bought the shithole. So the bank took the property over. We were given 90 days to leave the premise. No rent, sweet. That is pretty nice. Then the tree fell down. A neglected tree growing from an empty home next door had extended over our backyard. It fell several weeks ago partially destroying our back wall and covering the yard. We are supposed to leave this month. We have not received any further notices and the home is apparently in a bidding war between contractors. I did get three months rent free though. Oh, that's nice. Well, too, because the homeowners stole our first month. That sucks. I'm really sorry to hear that all of that went down. That sounds really stressful. I would cry alone in my room at night and be like, <laughs> this is so stressful. But I mean, Shout out to the two months free rent. Okay, we'll read the next one and see how it goes and then I'll see if I can find some like newer ones. Okay. <laughs> I moved into a place that was absolutely disgusting. To provide context, I took to repairing my food. I thought I read that right the first time. Repairing my food in my room as it was the only way to be sure it was sanitary. Due to a housemate disappearing with a month's combined rent and the contact details for the landlords, we were evicted. I do feel bad for the landlord on that one. He got screwed as badly as we did. What I never realized, I only lived in the house a short time and as I hinted, never ventured from my room unless I had to. Uh, was that underneath the grime and mess, it was actually a pretty nice place. It just needed some fairly ser serious cleaning both inside and out. After the eviction notice, but before the move out date, I was working graveyard shifts, getting home around 9 a.m. Damn, that's late or early. Um, 
For the first week, it was okay. The second week though, the landlord clearly decided he wanted us out sooner rather than later and did what he could to make this happen. Initially, he'd just show up and start clearing rubbish from outside during the day. Sometimes I'd loco after his kids while he did. Oh, he probably means look. <laughs> Sometimes I'd look after his kids while he did, despite the mounting sleep deprivation it was causing. By the second week, things kicked up a notch. He'd been outside my window every morning from 9.30 a.m., making as much noise as humanly possible for the day, preventing me from getting any sleep after three days. Well, he brought his poor wife around. She tried to clean the kitchen. I was trying to get some sleep while the poor woman burst into hysterics, screaming, shaking, sobbing, tears, the whole bit. I had enough. I phoned the police and had them evicted from their own premises for two weeks oh my god this is this is a crazy story i bore them no ill will until that point i genuinely felt sorry for them and was trying to help them get the place clean myself but several days of no sleep with intensifying pressure to find a new place and the fact that the whole horrible mess had nothing to do with me got to me worst tenant and landlord story all at once i guess that's what it says. Dang, that is really intense, but that's pretty impressive that this person was able to get the landlord like kicked off the premise for two weeks. 13 years ago, why is everything so long ago? This one is another long one. I think this is gonna be the last one because I have not found any short ones and I'm getting tired of reading my voice my mouth is getting dry and i don't want you guys to have to listen to me read for too too long it's a question out to people but this person's worst apartment horror story this is long i lived in joe's apartment i lived for two years in two different apartments on the same block okay quiet aptly known as hell block here are the two photos of an electrical outlet in the kitchen of the first one. Oh my God, that's really gross. The photos do not do justice as to how bad it was, but I didn't take any other ones. Anyway, that was the first apartment. It was disgusting and I actually had a roach crawl into my casserole before I snuck it in the oven. Oh my God, no, 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 no. I would have literally moved out immediately. That is absolutely horrid and disgusting. I cannot. I fished it out and cooked it anyways. That's actually really disgusting of you. I personally would have thrown the entire thing away. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you would have too. Oh my God. <sighs> In retrospect, it was bad, but hey, at least it was confined to the kitchen. Next apartment. We had really wanted to get off hell block, but circumstances failed us and we moved directly across the street. It had roaches too, but it wasn't that bad at first. I kept the place spotless for a while, but gave up when things with my roommate went downhill and I just avoided being there as much as possible. Last two months in the least, holy Christ, they were everywhere, in my fridge, freezer, and at night I had to stand outside the doorway to the kitchen and reach around for the light switch hoping they weren't on the switch. Oh my god, that's terrible. Watch them fucking scatter. I wiped off a layer of roast shit off the countertops every three days or so. Oh my god. Worst part, this time around, they didn't keep themselves confined to the kitchen. I had to keep everything off my bedroom floor. Stacked on chairs, I left a basket of folded clothes on the floor one time, and when I got to the bottom of the pile, there were seven of the fuckers hanging out under my jeans. Even my bed wasn't safe, even though I kept it six inches away from the wall. I never in my life thought I'd become so jaded about cockroaches. I now live in an awesome roach-free house in the country with an amazing view. There are a lot of spiders though, edit. It wasn't just the roaches. We didn't have proper AC in either apartment and during the summer it gets up to 85 degrees with hellish humidity. 
The only way I could sleep was to spoon with a frozen mega water bottle. It was good for the hangover too. <laughs> nice. With a fan going inches away from the head. In the first apartment, both my roommate and I lost our keys, so we would just break into the place by climbing out the hall window onto our balcony where we would reach in the broken window pane French doors to grab a broom and trip the floor lock. I can't believe the homeless crackheads didn't get the idea to rob us blind. That is a crazy story. I, that's absolutely gross with all the cockroaches. I literally probably would have left as soon as possible or tried to at least or complained or had them like clear them out. That probably wasn't an option though and I'm sure you did ask for it. That's gross. I'm very curious to know where Hellblock is. So I'm gonna try and Google it and see. Let me see. Richmond, Virginia. Hellblock, Richmond, Virginia. Yeah.